Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel for one of my favorite things to do, a KC Tool unboxing. In case some of you guys haven't noticed, KC Tool just came out, or just announced that they have all this new Vera stuff in stock, and I kind of went nuts. I have wanted some of these things for a while, at least in other versions, and now that they've come out with new versions, I thought, what, what better time to do it than to get some unboxings going again and add some more cool tools to the collection. So I'm going to pull that out, and I'm just going to roll this up so you can see how much fun we're going to have here. This is going to be a long video, I bet you. But I'm going to try to just do an overview of what I got in this video, and then we will come back and do videos on probably each one of these things, at least some of them, because this was a nice order. Check this out. Tell me that just isn't one awesome thing to pull up to on your front porch. In case you wondered, I, yes, I pay the exact same price you guys pay for this stuff. I have no affiliation with Vera at all. The only thing I benefit from is if you guys buy tools from KC Tool using my link, then I make a little bit there. Otherwise, I pay the same thing for them that you guys pay. And yeah, we know how much that is. So anyway, nice little collection here. The only kind of off the wall item in here is I got really hooked on these burger, burger, however you say it, clippers for my garden and my fruit trees. I have a, I have about a 50 tree fruit tree orchard out here, just right here behind me here on the field. And I wanted to try these little cork handled ones. Those just looked really cool to me. I saw them come out with them a little while back and I already have four or five pairs of these things. So I got another pair of those and they came off the card in the box somehow, but Okay, boy oh boy, what all do we get into here and where do we even start? Okay, first thing I got here, this is their new, I believe this is still going to be called a Zyklop, but it's their ratchet. I don't know if it's be a Zyklop, yeah, Zyklop Comfort. This is the 8100 SB13 and I did get it in Imperial. We're going to slide this right off. Well, if we can... Get that plastic right off of there so we can actually take a look at what's inside. Pull this off. And of course, it's in these very nice, I believe they call them their textile deals. The back here has the Velcro, the soft side on it. The front has the nice embossed ratchet there and the embossed logo. So we pop this open. There is the set right there. Now, this is all impact rated. So you don't have to just use the ratchet here. I should be able to just go ahead and throw these on my impact if I want to. And this should be their nice little socket rails where you just twist and they come right off just like that. Just some very high quality feeling sockets right there. Check that out. I was curious about how I'd like this kind of a ratchet. They added a little pull tab there for taking it out. It almost reminds me of how a lot of the insulated ratchets feel. But just a super nice little deal. Has your little toggle right here for your forward and reverse. Your button right here for your release. Press that, hold it, drop that right on. Check that out right there. That's the Zyklop 8100 Comfort. That's one nice little ratchet right there. I, I like that. And there, so you can hear that... Pretty fine tooth, I, I like that. Let me see if it tells us here what TPI it is. I don't think it actually does. 3 8 by 230 millimeter. It does come with an extension in here. So we have a 8798B, a nice impact rated extension right there in the set. Well, if I remember how I take stuff out just from one moment to the next. Nice release here, this big black button, just press that, comes right off, lock these right back in the case. And instead of having to thread your whole ratchet in, they now have this little deal that's actually marked open on it. So you can just peel it right here to release your ratchet and take it out. So that's kind of slick. Normally with Vera, I, have, I don't think I've seen that type of release before. Normally you have to pull the whole thing out and then go back with it. But let's go ahead and see what else we got in this deal because we will cover some of these more in the future. They gotta go on the truck and go to work. 
All right, next item in here. Oh boy, so many things. Here is the Craftform Compact 838 RAS Imperial Set 1 right there. Got this one too. Let's go ahead and pop it open. Oh yeah, nice little pouch the same way, the Velcro on the back. So if you run any of the Vera tool bags or you run any kind of Velcro system, these just stick right on, which is super handy. So let's check this out. This is a smaller, and it's ratcheting, of course. That's what the RA would be. But check out the inside right there. It's a smaller handle than your normal. Let's see if we can grab a normal one. There's your normal size. This is a smaller handle right there. But even though they went smaller, it's ratcheting. And it's it has a center, center lockup forward and reverse how cool is that and of course it's just quarter inch drive right there pull these out snaps right in nice solid magnet like Vera uses and they're not the little short bits in this kit these are the regular full length bits like you could go ahead and pop into an impact driver they're these are most likely not impact rated but you know, we all kind of do it from time to time. Or you can snap these into your other craft form ratcheting drivers, your non-ratcheting drivers. It'll snap into all of them and lock right in. So this is kind of kind of a neat little deal. The only thing here, there is no retention. So you don't have like with their wrap adapter where you press it in and it clicks and it just holds this rock solid. With this one, it's just magnetically held. So even though it came with these bits that I really do like, I think this would be useful just to drop in your bag to have a little tiny ratcheting driver. I love that it's ratcheting. That is cool to have in something this, this small. But it, without a detent to hold these type, I think you could use the short ones and be probably even more effective with that one. But I'm so glad to see Varric dropping some new stuff. I've not much I enjoy more than grabbing some new tools, especially from one of my favorite places. But that's that little ratcheting driver right there. One last little quick peek. And if you're curious about what's in it, you can pause right there and check that out if you want to. This stuff, I will have a KC tool link down below in the description. If you want to go click that and go find yourself any of this cool stuff, you absolutely can. All right, how many more sets do I have to go through? Well, let's do one quick little easy one. You guys know these. I had to grab another one of these. This is just restocking when I order, you know. I'm building out a couple more Vito bags for projects, and um, I needed a couple more Pika pencils, so ordered me another little Pika, and this should be, yep, the fine. These Pika fines are easily my favorite. Just a regular little pencil lead right there. Holds a few more in the back. Has an eraser here on the back end as well. So you basically have everything you'd have in your normal mechanical pencil, but in a, in a carpentry type deal. So really nice for fine markings. And this little sleeve has these nice locks that holds it in. So you don't have to pull the whole thing out of your bag. You can just grab the pencil out and go right back in the sleeve. It's always where you need it, and you can see it really good with the color. So I love those. I just keep, keep collecting more and more of them. Okay, next kit that I got. Get all this plastic off. Man. All right. This is the Safe Torque Speed Universal. This is the 2 to 6 Newton meter. So there is what it looks like on the front of that box. There's that info on the back. If you get curious and want to check those details out, you can. Has a torque lock, adjustable torque from 2 to 6, where it to go compatible, and has a safe torque feature. So it actually has a QR code on the front so you can go watch a video on their safe torque. So that's interesting. So inside here, we have several extra papers that you don't normally see on these. Let's check it out and see what they are. So the safe torque deal right here, torque screwdriver with quick torque adjustment. Open this up. Let's see if it tells us anything we do not know. I think it's just the basics. Simple setting, just select the one you want. Excess load signal. So it has an audible, distinctly audible and noticeable excessive load signal when the preset torque is reached. So this must sound an alarm when you reach your torque. It will work 
clockwise and counterclockwise with a set torque. When torque lock function is deactivated, you can tighten and loosen without torquing. Okay, so let's open this up and see. Here is the certification of calibration right there to know it's accurate. If you use these a lot, you'll probably want to calibrate them again eventually after a certain number of uses. Vera has a lot of information on that. These have like a belt loop holder here as well as the Velcro so you can stick it on your bag and it is marked here on the front nice and clear what it is too. So let's open this up. Here we go. So this is this little set right here. And this has everything from a T10, 15, 20, 25, 30, Phillips 2, a 10, well, a 10 IP by 89 Torx. I don't understand that one, but okay. Uh, 15, 20, 25, 30, HOP 3 by 39. Okay, so then Allen keys here on the end. You've got Allen's in four sizes, Torx in four five sizes and then security torques in five sizes so that's pretty handy we'll pop this number two phillips out real quick this is just magnetic also just like the other one so you could use a short bit in here if you wanted to anything you want and that is what the front of that will look like right there so you can just slide through okay so let's see if i can actually get it where you guys can see it if it'll get focused on that right there you can see in your screen right there it will tell you what torque setting you're going to just right up through there all the way from two through six and then at the end it just has an unlimited tighten and loosen so two through six set it to the one you want i don't think i can even hold two newton meters so that's pretty strong stuff but we go ahead when you tighten this you should hear an alarm when i do an actual review on this i will have something where i can go ahead and set this off and you guys can hear it but audible alarm when you hit your torque and that's what the little torque wrench looks like torque driver i should say right there so that let's see if there's anything else it's a 7515 is the model so i've been wanting to add some torque wrenches or torque drivers so i do a lot of stuff it seems like that actually requires it and i've been trying to figure out which one to go with and then Vera release these and i want you know it's time let's get a few of these these are these are going to be nice to have okay so i did get another just single torque driver because that one does two to six newton meters this one does one to three so this calibration certificate in here also my little paperwork and then basically the exact same unit just it does one to three and then the unlimited there at the end so just a nice little selectable deal with the same audible alarm, all that good stuff, but for one to three. So I've, I have, well, there's, <laughs> there's things that'll get me demonetized if I say what I'm using this on. I'm guessing you guys can figure that out, but there's some stuff besides work that I use this, that I use my little torque drivers for, and it's going to be cool to have Vera ones for that now. Okay, here's a big set. This is the KK VDE Big Pack in Tool Finder. Extra slim, take it easy, and Vera to go compatible. Thousand volt insulated. This, this is gonna be a nice little set. I think I'm gonna be able to build out a heck of a new Vito bag with some of this new stuff. So let's go ahead and see the front of that. That is what this set will look like right there. Oh yeah comes with your extra little velcro that sticks on got a vera sticker in there some extra info it is soft here on the back so you can has a soft velcro so you can stick it on your veto or not your veto bag but your vera bag if you want to the embossed insulated driver there and the vera logo kind of almost has a tool roll look to it right there Just rip this open oh look at that i tell you what isn't that beautiful i love opening new tools check that out right there so this is an entire insulated set in their slim insulation there are some in here i noticed that are not slim and that is allen key versions. some of the allen key versions if you can see that get that to focus right for you 
you can see the insulation actually has that step to it that you get on the non-slimline versions. And there, there are a couple, maybe, in here of these that don't. There are three of those that have a little bit of a step in the insulation. But everything else has the slim insulation, which, if you know what that is, it means right here at the tip, you have almost no difference between the driver thickness and the insulation thickness. So, makes it really nice if you're getting down into tight spots with your driver that you don't mess up the insulation because it's really easy to do that if it has a step edge on it right there. You'll get that all torn up over time. Looks terrible. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, very nice little set there. I really like that. That'd be kind of neat to just have stuck on the side of the bag and unroll. Yeah. So, finally got me a really nice one. We'll do some deep, go through these, talk about every single thing that's in them in its own review video. It comes with two handles in here, so you could set up. That's really nice, actually. Most kits come with one. This has two. So, if you're using this kind of thing, a lot of times you'll need two different types of drivers at the same time. And this way, you're not exactly changing handles all the time. You could hook up the two you'd use, you're using for that project, be good to go. So, kind of a neat little feature there. And then it just rolls right up like a tool roll, goes right across, and you're back to start just like that. So, how awesome is that? Okay, a couple of more little things down here in the box. I know, will we ever get to the bottom? Yes, yes we will. Okay, so this, well, this says craft form. And this, I bought a couple of their holders because they're magnetic. You can hear them. They stick right to my desk. They have little mounting hooks also if you wanted to actually mount them permanently on something. But these slide to adjust where they are. And I'll have to remember which thing I actually bought here. But I bought ones for my Joker wrenches. Let's see. This is the wrench version. And it comes in a box like this right here. I'll have to play with these. This one, this one here though said craft form, magnetic craft form holder. But I don't know that this is actually for drivers. Maybe it is. They they pop right in actually. So maybe so. How cool is that? Probably not necessarily should use them on insulated. Maybe it doesn't matter. But oh, that's slick. Watch me be wrong and this be the goofiest part of the video. But it says craft form. Craft form is typically their screwdrivers, from what I know anyway. They do put the craft form handle on some Zyklops and stuff, but surely it would say if it was anything different. But those fit absolutely perfectly right there. You can magnetize this on the side of your toolbox, and then you could literally just snap your screwdrivers in and out like that. I guess you could hang them, but there's no point. That is slick. They're held rigid. You don't have to worry about them coming off. How, how nice is that? I love it. I love it. All right. So this one will be for wrenches. And I don't have wrenches on my table right now. But I will when I show this in its own review. This is their new magnetic wrench rack right there. You can kind of see how that works. They just will slide right into that also. Same type of holding mechanism it looks like. So you can adjust how far apart each one of these is depending on the size of your wrenches, how much room you need between them. Magnetic and it is that soft magnet just like this one has. So you're not going to scratch up the side of your toolbox or anything. It, it's very nice. There they are. All right, well, I do believe, well, KC Tool has this new thing they're doing where you get what they call a mystery sticker down in there once you hit a certain amount in your order. And, of course, your little bit of thanks, your little number two, Phillips, German made by Vit Tools, and the mystery sticker. Who wants to see what the mystery sticker is? I'm curious. Let's, let's just pop that open there. I saw that I was definitely over the line to get one of these. Okay, so is it just one sticker in there? Well, German brand sticker collection. Oh, they're like, uh, these are nice. All right, so there's a whole selection of them you can get. We got this one today. And if you can see, they're like a metallic iridescent. That That's cool, I think, right there. That ought to be a popular deal. So here is all the ones you can possibly get. If you want to pause there and look at that, you can. But 
You don't know what you're going to get, though. They're just a mystery sticker in a black bag, so KC's probably not even going to know what they put in there for you, but how cool is that? Anyway, that is the Vera order I made from the new release of Vera Tools. What do you guys think? Is there any of this stuff that you guys are getting? I'm curious what you guys thought of some of it, especially if you've already had it for a little bit. Thank you guys for being here. I'm enjoying making videos again. Good to see you guys. We'll see you on the next one.